What's going on everyone? A quick video here to share with all of you on how you can change the default location of the pictures folder in Windows 11. So I recently reinstalled Windows 11 Pro 64-bit edition on my desktop computer, and I'm now getting this error message when I'm trying to change the location of the pictures folder. This might be happening to you guys if you're trying to move the documents folder as well. I can't even restore it to default location because OneDrive, up here you'll see the little path, OneDrive has kind of taken over, and now I get this error message. So I will back out of here and show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. Go into C, go to my users, go to your name, and then your pictures folder is gone, okay? It's in OneDrive right here. And the funny thing is I'm not even like signed into OneDrive and OneDrive kind of works in the background and took over and changed the pictures folder and put it in here and all that good stuff. So I wanna show you guys how to fix this so you can put the uh, pictures folder back to the, you can restore default or you can put it on a backup drive on your computer, which is what I do every year and that's what I'm trying to do for 2023 is move it over to my storage folder. I'm pretty sure Microsoft does this to try and help out. The pictures folder is very important. They give you like five gigs of storage, which is you know nothing nowadays, but I think they should leave the option up to us before changing things like this. And this just kind of like pushes its way in there at us. But let's just go walk through this real quick. So down on your taskbar, you should see OneDrive running and you'll see it's not signed in. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to go, if I scroll up here, I'm going to go to this little help and settings gear icon and I'm going to choose settings. So I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to show you guys that where it says sync and backup, it's grayed out and notifications is grayed out. I don't have all my options here. So I can't go in and unlink that folder from OneDrive. This is, I'm going to show you guys how to do it so you can change the location. I recommend you do it this way and not try and work around it other ways by uninstalling OneDrive or unlinking because it may cause, maybe some of you are using OneDrive for documents and you just want your pictures folder. Um, it'll help you that way. Also in the background, it may not remove that, you know, it holds on to it. it. There's some things going on in the background, so it may not work. So the best thing you can do is this right here. Go into OneDrive, you can click on the thingy down here in the taskbar to the little cloud. You can click on that and sign in if you want. I'm just gonna do it right here because it just kind of pops up right here for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my email address in and sign in like normal. Again, this is going to allow us to go in so we can manage these folders. And I'll show you how easy this is to do if you just sign into it. And then you can unlink or change you know, your options as far as managing folders for the pictures folder. So click next. The one you want to choose here is probably use this folder. I'm not doing one terabytes. Get to know your drive. Go through these little thingies and we'll get in here. I don't need the mobile app. OneDrive is ready for me. Cool. Okay, so OneDrive should be ready for me now. But if I go in here, go to properties, it's still going to give me that error message. What we need to do is go back down here to the little cloud. And now you want to go back into your settings and you'll see there's a lot more options here. So go to settings. And now when I go to settings, bring this over for us, I have the option here to choose over here on the left, sync and backup. The first one you wanna pick is manage backup. And here is where it's holding on to the pictures folder. It's holding on to the desktop, the documents, the pictures. So if you wanna uncheck the documents, you can do that as well, but let's just start with the pictures folder. I'm gonna click stop backup we're gonna go ahead and do this, and this is fine. It says the files are backing up. We'll stay in OneDrive, but they're not no longer going to be on the PC because we're gonna move that folder anyway. So I'm gonna close out of that, and you'll see there's a check mark there, and there's no more stop backup button. So if I click, I could always click start backing up again, and it'll do the same thing, but we're not gonna do that. We're stopping the backup. So then you just close out of that. Let me see if I closed out of that completely. And then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna right click on the pictures folder and go to properties and go to location. And then I'm going to change this location. I'm gonna move the folder to where I wanna move it onto a backup drive. So storage, it's 2023 now. I wanna put it in my pictures folder on my backup drive, just like over here. So I'm gonna cl click on select folder and you'll notice the new directory, the new location is D2023 pictures. And then I'm gonna click apply and click create. And there it goes, it went through just fine. So now if I go to storage and I go to 2023 and pictures, it's over here 
it created that pictures folder. So if I right click on that and go to properties, you can see I can go to location and we can change this right back. Let's say we want to change it to default location. So let me just show you guys real quick. Go to C drive users, Jamie in here is where you normally find it until OneDrive took over. But in here's normally where your pictures folder will be. Well, watch. If you go to storage, go to 2023, there's my pictures. I'm not happy with it in here. Just, you know, I'm just using this as an example. Um, I want to move this back. I want to move the pictures folder back to default. So I'm going to click restore default. Okay. Well, now we're going to click apply and it's going to create it. And I'm going to click yes and okay. Uh, just give it just a second here to catch up. It's making those changes in the background. So you can see it removes it from my backup drive. And now if I get out of everything and we go into the C drive, we're going to go all the way out of everything. Just so we guys can see this from the beginning. Go into C drive, go to users. My name or your, your name will be in there. But there's the pictures folder in its default location now. Click on it and there it is. So from that location, you should be able to move that folder now wherever you guys want. In OneDrive, it will still show up, but I wouldn't worry about it. You can also, it's just sitting in there. You can unlink OneDrive if you want. You don't have to uninstall OneDrive. Um, you can actually go back into OneDrive though and go to settings. And then I'm gonna go to account and unlink because I'm just gonna do that that way. But you'll notice though, if you reboot your computer, your pictures folder should be right here fine in its default location. If you found the video helpful, hit the old like button and share it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.